So we're going to make some patch panels for around the rear tires here. A little bit of uh, rust and corrosion there, so pretty sure this isn't the only one. So I've taken the screws out of along there and up here a little ways and there just happens to be a seam right here we're going to go up to. So we're going to make this template here first out of uh, cardboard, poster board or something like that. And then to get the pattern that I need, I just took my finger along here and you can see that crease there. That'll get the edge here. So I will cut that off. And then this already has holes, a little bit of wind there. This already has a pattern of holes somewhere going like that up there. So I've taken all the rivets out, <clears throat> taken this uh, little trim piece off, I guess here, so we can see the holes and clean it up. So I'm gonna cut this off next around there like that. And then from the inside, I will poke a O-ring pick through each hole. And then I can transfer that holes onto a piece that I cut out, piece of steel. So I'm going to trim this off here first. I'll be back. There you can see I have that on there now. And like I said, I'm going to pull holes from the inside. Get this o ring pick. And you can lift this up a little find the pattern where the holes are, right? Don't put your finger in front of the pick. Finger on each side. Just like that. And these ones here, pretty easy from the outside. Once I drill the holes in the panel, the replacement panel, uh, I'll probably have to go through the outside here just to realign the holes, but You can kind of feel where the holes are Just be careful you don't poke your finger Just like that Find all the holes, poke them in there, and we can take this over to a sheet of steel, cut a piece out. Boy, where's that one going? Right there. Yeah, this will go on here pretty good. I'm going to prime the panel the replacement panel on the inside and outside, as well as spray some rust converter over this and clean this rust up a little bit. I know this is a, probably a part that you can buy because my bus has already, this has already been done to it. And they're probably a replacement panel, but I can make my own, I can show you guys how. Pretty easy. And yeah, it's captured underneath this. It overlaps in this uh, rub rail up to about here, probably half an inch so that it's secured underneath. And when I put it back on the real panel, I'll put some Cicaflex all the way across there and all the way across the front and back and up here, but not down here just in case water gets on the inside, it can run out. Yeah, so I'll finish poking all them holes in there and show you when I go cut out the panel. So here's the template. I've taken it off the bus back there. Poked all the holes through here with a O-ring pick. You can see them. So now I'm just gonna transfer this template onto this sheet of 16 gauge. Cut it off with a zip disc. Believe it or not, these can go around corners if you go carefully. It's actually better to use a smaller uh, zip disc. <clears throat> one like this smaller one, for instance. You can go around corners, be careful going around there. And then I will 
drill these holes, all the holes in this panel, and tuck it back up in there and see how it fits. So I'm not going to show you cutting it out with a zip disc. I've showed you that before. If you want to watch any of my other videos, uh, yeah, I'd suggest you go watch them because they're good. And yeah, I'm going to cut this out and I'll show you after I put it back up on the bus. I should show you this drilling the holes in here. I'm just drilling the holes right through this template, everything. If you have a sharp drill bit, you don't need a center punch really. These holes are close enough that they're going to do what I need to do. Push hard when the drill bit hurt when you first pull the trigger. And then it won't slip. Enough. Those are all drilled. I need to mark a couple more across here. We'll do the same same kind of pattern as the front. The front I was able to match up some existing holes in the bus or rivets in the front, so the front pattern is already there. So I'll just transfer that to the back here. Drill some across there. And yeah, then we'll zip her out with the zip disc. Oh, I changed my mind. I'm gonna show you cutting this corner here with the zip disc. Make sure you have PP, the proper PPE on, gloves, coveralls, cover up your skin, uh, safety glasses, safety shield, two lines of defense for your eyes, obviously, because you only have two of them. You need to keep them. So yeah, we just do a little a light pass, just a little bit on the surface first, and then we can go back like this and cut through. five inch zip disc just clean it up a little bit with a buffing pad or a grinding wheel and we will throw it on there there you can see the bare uh, <clears throat> fender side I guess without the trim piece on it and you can see the rust I'm just gonna clean up the rust a little bit cut out what's there and then probably use some steel reinforced uh, body filler just to make it smooth but I'm not gonna cut out this whole panel here because that still provides some good structure for the new panel to go over top of. So now we need to be able to slip this up in there and up underneath there. So I'll get the panel. Here's the panel all cut out, holes drilled in it. And we need to uh, Deeper all these holes. I've done some of some of them already, but I didn't do all of them, so there. So we got the holes deburred, which is I think pretty important. Gets a little bit of the edge of the burrs off in fits up there pretty nice. Spread this out a little bit here. It's going up there.
little bit. Drop a little, and we will just put this over and kick in here again. Just hold it, line it up. And I have a punch over here for this side. Keep that lined up. There. And that's kind of the panel and all the holes line up if they don't i will just drill through them again and we'll slip the right now i'm just concerned about getting this piece fitting and prepped and then i'm going to paint it inside and out before i put it up there and then i'll prep, i'll prep the bus side and then when they're both drying it'll be ready tomorrow to put on there's the panel that's the inside and it's primed two layers of primer on there and this is the outside three layers of primer on there and this is the pattern that I put the sealant on I'm just using some seam sealer this is the top edge and I want to make sure I got enough on there so water can't just run down here and the back and the front have some on and the bottom does not so if water by chance gets in here which it's going to it can run out the bottom these are not going to last forever but they're a patch and they're just as good as what was on the bus so i'll go put it on there and i'll show you what it looks like there i slid the panel up in here you can see that i have screwdrivers here to pry these out and to pry this rub rail out so it has room to slide in there with the sealant and yeah fits pretty good all these holes like I did show or like I showed you before are pre-drilled so they're all pretty close to lining up they might need a little bit of tweak just run a quarter inch drill bit through there on them and 3 16 on these ones and yeah that should work pretty darn good we'll take these screwdrivers out we don't need it spread apart anymore Scratch up the side any more than I have to. There we are. See, I just have two punches in here just to line it up. And that's pretty close. So now we'll just put all the rivets in here and crimp them. And then I'll put this trim piece up in here. We'll put all the rivets on first, these ones. And these ones, crimp them, and then we will put the piece of trim here because it just goes on this row here. But we'll get it all tight to the panel before we put this trim on. Well. There, that is beautiful. So we have a few screws to put back in here. Just came out of these holes. are in except for this piece that holds on the trim see back here if you can't see but there's sealant uh, seam sealer squishing out there yeah she looks pretty nice 
Should last for a little while longer. Okay, I will get the trim piece, put it on. There, trim piece is on. This piece kind of sandwiches up in there, so you need to make sure that you pull it out because it has a flange on the inside. If you just uh, crimp the rivets right now, you may not pull the whole thing out, be solid. So you need to pull the trim out. There, she's done. Pretty easy patch panel replacement right there, or panel replacement. Yeah, you can see the seam sealer squishing out there, so we know we have a good seal there. And across the top, it has to have a good seal because it's riveted there with quarter inch rivets. This seam here butts against that one. It's already there. Trim piece is nice and tight. Looks pretty nice now, doesn't it? Let's go see the other side over here. And yeah, this side of the bus is green. And there's that side. The side's done too. Just like new. Yeah, so that's that panel replacement. Pretty easy to do. 16 gauge steel, some quarter inch and 3 16 rivets. Yeah, pretty nice. So there, little idea for you guys to do. Pretty easy, you can do it yourself. Not hard. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and comment if you like what you see or don't see. Thanks, bye.